Hello everyone, in this Lightroom video we will be applying some lovely dark moody brown tones using only Lightroom Classic. And if you want to follow along this tutorial you can find the raw file here in the description of the video. So let's go. First off let me apologize for my voice, I got a little cold so I hope I can get through this video without sounding too annoying. Before we start the editing, let me just say I have cropped this image a little bit. I have cropped parts from the top, from the left and from the bottom since they are not that interesting. And I just want to have that animal nicely centered like this. So first off I'm going to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. This lessens the contrast which means I do have more control over it myself. Also it helps to get the image going into the right direction, which is a very dark desaturated look. And to continue working on that I'm going to first increase the temperature, since for this style I do want to have a lot of those warm color tones. So let's bring up the temperature a little more, just like that. And I do think I want to drop the tint just a bit, I don't want to have those magenta tones in here, that looks pretty good for now. As you have seen in the intro the image was super dark, but I am not doing this by decreasing the exposure. Instead I first want to bring down the highlights. I am going all the way down and this gives me this kind of soft look which I really like for this shot. Also to make the image darker I am going to drop the shadows all the way down. Of course I'm paying close attention to the histogram right now. We do have a little bit of underexposure going on, but that's not a big deal. To fix that I am simply going to increase the blacks, which will also help with the softer look by just fading the blacks, which looks pretty good here. Now I don't want to lose too much brightness, especially in the brighter areas for the highlights and the whites, and therefore I'm going to increase the whites just a little bit so we have some contrast going on for this image. All right. Now at this point you can see the colors start to look a little bit weird but don't worry about that. We can fix all those colors later in the color grading part of the video. For now I do want to have a little more sharpness so I'm going to add quite a bit of texture. All right. Normally I wouldn't go as high but for this case this looks pretty cool. At the same time I do want to drop the clarity just to give this image some kind of softness to it. And now let's bring down the vibrance which is the first step to fix the color tones. I'm going to drop them quite a bit since I want this image to be very desaturated just like that. Alright looks much better already. Then of course there will be some local adjustments, so let's head into the new masks panel. First off I do want to add some kind of vignetting effect, therefore I'm going to use a radial gradient and I'm just creating one around our subject in the center. I guess this looks pretty good here. Now I'm making sure to invert it so everything outside the circle will be affected. Just like the overlay shows us right here, we could maybe drop the feather a little bit so we don't affect the subject itself. Okay, then what I want to do here is to simply bring down the exposure a notch. Not too much, just a little bit. Alright. And by doing this we are simply making the subject stand out in front of the foreground a little more and it gives the whole image some kind of 3D effect which looks super cool. Now I do want to further extract the subject. For this reason I am going to apply a linear gradient and I'm going to create it outside of the image so everything is affected like you can see here. But we don't want to affect the subject so I'm going to hit the subtract button and here I'm simply deselecting the subject like this. This may take a while, but you can see Lightroom is doing an insane job at selecting the subject by itself. And with this mask we can now further bring down the exposure. Okay, and I do want to bring down the whites. 
perfect. Then I also want to change the colors a little bit, therefore I'm going to increase the temperature, making the background a little warmer. Just like that. But I do think I need to drop the saturation just a little bit, so the yellows in there aren't too dominant. Alright, next up we can also make the background a little softer. And of course I can simply do this by dropping the clarity. And I can also drop the texture. And thus we get this buttery smooth background. Awesome. And I guess that is already it for those local adjustments. Now let's take a closer look at the color grading. I am starting in the HSL tab. Here yeah, I don't think I need to change the hue anymore. I could play around with the yellow tones, maybe making them look a little more orange. Actually, I do think I want to do that. Just a little bit. And let's see, maybe I could even drop the orange tones a little bit. Alright, you can see those orange hues mainly affect the fur of this animal, giving it some more of an intense color. But for now let's switch over to the saturation tab. In here I do want to bring down the orange saturation as well as the yellow saturation a little bit. And then I want to pretty much get rid of all the other colors. So let's drop them all the way here. Just like that. Looks pretty cool. I also don't think I need to change the luminance. Again I could play around with the orange luminance making the animal a little brighter. Well, maybe let's add a little bit, but I really don't want to overdo it. All right. Now, of course we could apply a little bit of split toning. Initially, this wasn't my plan, but I do want to try and play around with the highlights. I'm just giving them a little yellow orangish color cast, just like that. And again, it mostly affects the fur of the animal since this is where all the highlights are. To change the background, we would need to target the midtones. So let's see. This might be a little too saturated, so let's bring it down. Just a little bit. Okay, that looks lovely. But in this case, I really don't want to touch the shadows. Instead, let's check out the calibration tab all the way down in Lightroom. And for some more intense red tones, I'm usually going to drop the blue primary hue. In this case, I won't go too low. Just a little bit is already enough. Perfect. And that's it for the color grading. Then, of course, for shots like this with a centered subject, you could always play around with a small vignetting effect. So we could make the background a little darker, but you will see there's immediately some underexposure showing up on the histogram. So I'm not sure if I want to apply vignetting here. Maybe just a little bit as well. All right. And then let's of course also sharpen this image in the details tab. As usual, I'm dropping the radius all the way down, increasing the details all the way up applying some more sharpening and to not affect the whole image, I'm going to mask out parts of it. And by holding down the Alt key, I can exactly see which areas are getting sharpened. So I don't need the background to be sharp. I just want the subject to be sharp, just like that. All right, awesome. And that's pretty much it. Now looking at the image, I think I could even add some kind of special effect. Therefore, I'm going to apply some local adjustments. To be more precise, I'm going to add another radial gradient. Coming in from the right side, let's increase the feather again. And with this radial gradient, I do want to fake some sunlight coming in. To do this, I'm going to boost the black slightly. I don't want to make this glow too obvious. And then I do want to add some color to this fake sunlight. I'm not doing this by increasing the temperature since this would look strange. I'm going to click on this little color box right here. 
Now let's see which color tone fits the most. You can see I'm aiming for a very very desaturated tone. Just a little bit of color in there. Let's try it like this. And again I'm going to play around with the blacks. I don't want to make it too strong. Just want to keep it subtle here. Let's try it like this. I could also play around with the whites of course, making it a little brighter. But I need to stop myself right now, otherwise I would overdo it. Here we have the finished image, all edited in Adobe Lightroom Classic. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left about the editing, feel free to ask in the comments. Again, I want to apologize for my voice, it will get better over time. So, see you guys next time.